Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video, and today um, I have something a little different. It is set number 75274, the TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet from the Helmet Collection that just came out. Um, and, my, and I have a guest with me today, who is my dad, and we're going to look at this together. And first, I'll, I'll just show off the box. So, it's a pretty nice box, um, and there's a 40th anniversary, uh, logo there, and then there's some nice pictures at the back. I don't really keep boxes, but this one is pretty cool. Um, I think it's worth a mention. Um, and then there's this, um, instruction book, um, and it has like information about the TIE Fighter pilot and some more great pictures. And yeah, that's all. Um, and it shows you how to uh, use a brick separator. So I guess that's kind of cool. But then um, I'll just show up the part count or the parts because they're really amazing. Um, and there's a lot of different colored parts. Um, I'm curious if you thought there were any really cool, unique parts in this build. Well, um, I guess I'll point out some. It's, um, I saw, like, where is it? It's a, it, it's a brick with, yeah, three studs going around it and not a fourth, which is yeah, really cool. That one's cool. I think there's a lot of really neat ones uh, that form the greebling mm -hmm. of the helmet. Um, a lot of the cool angles of the helmet. And it's it's very round, like even considering it's made of Lego. Agreed. So Andrew gave me this for my birthday. Um, we are quarantined for COVID nineteen here in twenty twenty and. Um, I don't usually get Star Wars or Legos for my birthday, but this has been really cool. And um, I just want to show, like, the detail of it is awesome. And as a big Empire fan, um, I was really impressed. Let's see if we can get it yeah. in the light a little bit better. Um, and um, the only unfortunate thing about those, they look very good, but they kind of fall off easily. And um, you're talking about the, the discs at yeah, the top, and yeah. they're kind of hard to put on. But if you can get beside that, this is very, very cool. Yeah, I love how you've got the oxygen mm -hmm. um, lines and they just, going in, and, and they it plug just, into the stand. It looks fantastic. Um, there, there are two other helmets in the this first. Um, series. Uh, there's a Boba Fett helmet, which is obviously the the super popular choice. Yeah, actually, and there's a Stormtrooper helmet. Um, but this, I just thought, was the bomb. Actually, the TIE Fighter pilot has always been um, a very cool, menacing uh, character from Empire, in my opinion. Actually, a lot of people also enjoy this and that makes a lot of sense and you actually get some really nice printed pieces like oh, yeah. these two unfortunately those are stickers but it's it's all right. right the two small the two ends are stickers but the other are printed and what's amazing with the build and, and, and this... as you were showing you start off and it's quite a colorful build mm -hmm. as you build the interior and even there's like window pane units that are used to build this. It's very cool. Um, yeah, quite creative. Yeah, see the window frame and lots of neat pieces. And you end up, when, when you're around this stage of the build, you think, are we ever gonna make it look like a TIE Fighter helmet? But um, yes is the answer. And these are awesome. And this this piping is mm -hmm. made up of what eighteen? Yes, eighteen each. Each side. Um, and I think the designer is 
it did a very nice job. I obviously wouldn't have been able to pull this off. Um, and then the other printed pieces that I wanted to show are the the disc that I that we oh, talked about right. earlier. Sure, the imperial symbols. And then also this plaque. Um, a very quality plaque. This is sort of like UCS quality. I was yes. um, surprised that that these weren't. Yeah, I mean, maybe not UCS, but that they didn't name the series somehow. Um, but uh, very excited to add this um, first piece to hopefully a burgeoning collection. And Obviously, some really cool opportunities to include a lot of the, the Sith side. Um, uh, you know, Vader and Maul and Kylo Ren, etc. All those classic masks. On the series. Um, this says 18 plus on the box, but it's actually a pretty simple build, so it's just recommended for that because obviously, you, little kids aren't gonna want to play with this thing. You can't really do uh, much with this instead instead of just admire the detail on this thing. The one thing they could have done that would have been really cool is to include a minifig of the Tie Fighter pilot. Yeah. I thought so too, but it's 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 still great. And I guess there is like one moving part. This plaque moves and it a little. Rotates, bit. yeah. But I think that's just part of the great detail that they you know they made it um, pivoted an angle, and uh, this looks excellent on um, on a desk. Um, it sits on my desk um, by my lamp as I work every day and uh, wonder about playing with Legos and Star Wars with my son instead. Um, well, thanks everybody and, for this review. Any last thoughts, Andrew? Uh, well, I just wanted to mention how nicely this um, this stand just goes up into there. Mm, true. And you probably can remove this. We're just not going to. But you also have to remove this. And that's what it looks from the bottom it's not bad at all um and it's you know extremely sturdy i kind of expected this to have a lot of bright colors under here you don't really see that the brightest one is tan but that still goes with the color scheme mm -hmm. pretty nicely overall this is um a good set it's definitely for collectors um and you know 60 bucks is not half bad Especially considering that there's a Dio, um, like, character that's 70 bucks. Like, I feel like this is way better, and it's just a really, really good set. I can't, um, say it, say it, um, really bad things about it. Alright, well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for having me as a guest, buddy. Peace Back out. Now.